my depression has a name. It talks real loud and it never lets up. He's rude and cynical, but warm and inclusive at the same time. It always listens to me, but it doesn't care for anything I have to say, like my pleas for it to leave me alone. I take all of his lies for truth, and that's the map I navigate my life by. Its hugs are tight and its hold is severe, but he's my friend. He promises to never hurt me, yet I feel pain in places no one can see. My depression has a name. It knows my name. Dumps that look better than this. Please. Not today. Gosh, please. Not today. <laughs> that never, never gets old. Huh, anyway, how'd you sleep? Feel rested? No. I feel like I just laid down. Good. I still got it. Um, any plans today? My sister's baby shower is today. Then I can pick up my best friend to go get his car. And after that, my nephew has a basketball game and I promised him I'd be there. Hmm. Okay. Pretty full day, huh? A day filled with exciting and wonderful things that you won't be able to go to. Why? Because I need you here. I mean, if you leave, who's going to keep me company? I mean, who will I have to talk to and who's going to watch TV with me? All you do is beat me over the head with comments about how, how worthless I am and how nobody ever wants to be around me. I know. Isn't it fun? <laughs> Besides, I'm only telling the truth. Now, lay down. But I have other... I said, lay down. doing in here? I didn't tell you that you were hungry. I haven't eaten since yesterday. And? What's that supposed to mean? I tell you when to eat. Just like I tell you when to do everything else. I run you. And you can't make a single choice without me. Come on, man. Please. I'm hungry. I just wanted something small like a sandwich or a bag of chips. See, that's one of your problems. You don't listen well. Now, I told you, I'm in charge here. You can't even take a shit and wipe your own ass unless I allow it. <laughs> I don't know how many times I gotta tell your dumb ass that. Now, go lay back in that bed. Who you calling? Maria. The therapist? <laughs> okay, for what? I need to get rid of you. Nigga, please, you know black folks don't go to therapy. And besides, do you really think a little white lady with a clipboard and a couch is strong enough to get rid of me? Don't know, but I need to try something. I can't keep having you around me. Oh, what? You don't love me, Corey? I love you.
love you. I mean, why else would I spend all of my time with you? Great, my phone back. Where's my charger? See? I guess it just wasn't meant to be. Now, let's get you back in this bed. Look, I don't want to lay down. I've been in that bed all day. Boy. Well, can I at least just read or something? Okay, fine. Hell. What you gonna read? A coloring book? No. I have plenty of books back there. Yeah, but you never read them. I never have the time. You're welcome. <laughs> My phone is on. My sister called me. Let me see what she wants. Hey, what's up? I'm sorry, I won't be able to make it. Something kind of came up. You damn right it did. <laughs> I know, I know, Sheila, but... No, for... Sheila. Sheila, please, listen, I'm trying to tell you what... Hello? Sheila. She hung up on me. Everything okay? Everything is not okay. She just called me to cuss me out for missing the baby shower. Well, you have better things to do. <laughs> now Jason just texted me for not taking him to go pick up his car. Hey, look, don't worry about those people, okay? Hell, I don't know why they're making so much noise anyway. It's not like they care if you do or don't show up. What are you talking about now? Corey. Those people don't care about you, Corey. I care about you, okay? I mean, they don't call you or check up on you, but who is the one that is constantly by your side, hmm? Me. I mean, they're all busy. They do have lives, so. Yeah, and you don't fit into them. That's why they couldn't care less if you do or don't show up. I mean, see all that stuff your sister just pulled? It was an act. She don't care. Mm -mm. See, actually, I'm doing her a favor by keeping you here with me. Do you have any idea how many functions you've ruined just by being there? People don't want you at their parties, Corey, because you just sunk the life out of them. No, that's not true, okay? My family does love me. So do my friends. I mean, they always concern when I don't show up. I'm telling you, it's an act. They're supposed to pretend like they care you didn't show up. But on the inside, on the inside, they're doing cartwheels because they didn't have to put up with your sorry ass. They don't love you, Corey. They tolerate you. There is a difference. I'm not listening to you. Oh, yeah, you are. <laughs> yeah, you are. Because you can't tune me out, Corey. I'm in your mind. I'm in your body. See, I am a part of all that you are. Now, like I said, people don't love you because you're unlovable. Look at you. You hardly ever leave the house. You stay locked up in that room 24-7. You don't want to talk to anybody. You're no fun to be around. They put up with you. That's not love. I'm the only somebody in this whole world that will ever love you. You stay locked up in this house because you won't let me go anywhere. I mean, you say that like it's my fault or something like that. Look, I don't care what you say. I know my family and my friends love me. Who are these friends you keep talking about? You don't have any friends? I'm the only friend you have. It's just you and me. Forever. Sit down. Where are you running off to? Nowhere. Now, like I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, you don't have any friends. See, real friends have things to offer each other, like love and support. You don't even love yourself. So how in the hell are you going to love somebody else? I do love myself. Oh, really? Okay. So, name one thing, just one, that you love about yourself. Go ahead. i got plenty of time. You don't love yourself because there's nothing there to love. Okay, so let's look at these people that you call friends. 
they are living their lives and going to school and starting families and holding down careers while you can't remember what day of the week it is. You have nothing going for yourself, okay? And for whatever reason, there are a few people that are counting on you to succeed and you let them down daily. A mess if it for you. What are you blaming me for? Everything. All of this. You keep isolated, chained to that bed, and I have to watch as my life just passes me by. Strip my strength and then laugh. everything that I work so hard to like about myself and use it. Use it against me to keep me within your grasp. You lie to me and I believe you. You abuse me and take it. You suck the life out of me. There's nothing I can do about it because is something that you can just pray away. It's not that easy. I wish it was that easy. Depression is not a testament to my lack of faith or some emotional tag for a Facebook post. Depression is a nasty, foul, cut a snake that beats you down to your lowest possible point and then robs you of what little sanity you have left. Yeah, right. Thanks for the compliment. Look, I'm sick of being alone. I'm sick of wasting my life and I'm sick of you. Then do something about me. Oh, that's right. You can't. You can't because I'm a part of you. And you can't get rid of yourself. I'm just saying, if you really want to get rid of me, that's the only way? No. Just think about it. That's really the only place that I can't reach you. If you want to be free of me, then that's the only way to do it. Because as long as you are alive, I am alive. <laughs> and I will always be stronger than you. And I will always, always I see this is one choice that I'm willing to just step aside and let you make on your own. So go ahead. Do it. Do it, Corey. But, but I want to get married and have kids. With who? Don't nobody want you, Corey. You're weak. Look at you. Look at you right now. Defeated. Hmm. Who in their right mind would want a sorry, pathetic excuse like you for a man? Boy, ain't nobody gonna miss you. They probably won't even know that you're gone. I mean, you're just taking up space right now. Just a, just a waste of good skin and hair. Look, you'd be doing them a favor if you just stop being a punk and just do it.
morning, stupid. 